Vlogmas Day 19, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sin City Sarah. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Welcome to a Friday night vlog where we are not having the kind of Friday night that I want to have. Uh, not having the kind of Friday night that I need to have. Uh, but it is a Friday night and we are having it because I'm sharing it with you. I'm on my way now to the laundromat. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? The freaking laundromat on a Friday night in Las Vegas. <laughs> Life is wild, guys. Uh, I have a friend who recently told me that he's convinced that I live a double life. <laughs> And that I keep all the exciting stuff to myself, which I do keep some exciting stuff to myself. But this is honestly my reality today, Friday night, the week before Christmas, and I'm headed to the laundromat. Somebody's got to do it. It's got to get done. I need to have clothes between now and Christmas. So bringing you with me, let's go do a shit ton of my laundry. Thank you guys so much for being here with me tonight. Thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate you so much. And let's go get this freaking laundry done. Remember when we were shopping at Town Square and I bought that cute little coin purse from that store and I just had the best experience with that lady? It was for this. And then remember how I lost it within like an hour of owning it? Man, it was only $3, but that was such a great experience with that lady, and I really liked that little coin purse. I really wanted it. I need to go back and get another one, but anyways, it was for my laundry coin, so here we go again with our plastic baggie. Oh, hi, hello. How is this for angles? Uh, not the best. <laughs> Sorry about it. The lighting is better this way. Got the laundry and the washers. What a tedious task. Uh, I'm so happy to be having it all done at once though. I hate spending all day doing laundry and then still not putting it away at the end of the day and having it in the basket for five days uh, and then I don't know what's dirty and I don't know what's clean. I love having my laundry done all at once. So it's in the washer now and I was sitting here in my car waiting and I thought I'd answer another question for you guys that somebody sent in to me on Twitter. I really like this question. He asked me, how do I cope with living in Vegas? And then he said he came here for five days from the UK and it broke him. So I think he's asking me like how, you know, I mean, how do you not go broke in Vegas? I guess is what he's asking. I kind of love this question. I think a lot of times people travel here and they're not used to the city. They're not used to having all of these opportunities in one place. Uh, there is so much to do, even if you don't leave your hotel, there is just an endless amount of things for you to spend your money on. And that doesn't even begin to touch the gambling. So I think in general, people come here and they get really excited and they see so much and they want to naturally, they're gonna spend more money. Uh, a lot of that, when you grow up around it, when you're used to it, when that's your normal, 
it's easy for you to go out to live your life and not constantly spend money doing Vegas type things. Uh, so as a local, you're able to see those things more as like an experience for something special, right? So even like going to the fights or going to a show down on the strip, like things like that, those aren't stuff, that's not things, those aren't things that I do all the time. Uh, actually, it's very common for me not even to be down near Las Vegas Boulevard at all. When it comes to gambling, because I grew up around it, I have seen the worst parts of it. I have seen people's lives be ripped apart because of gambling. I have seen people lose everything that ever mattered to them uh, over gambling. And again, it's sort of somewhat normal because of where I grew up, because of the kind of lifestyle that I live around. Uh, but having seen that, I would say is probably the thing that has helped me the most with not doing it. Uh, I've never been a huge gambler to begin with. You can walk into a gas station here, a grocery store, practically anywhere you go here in this town, there are slot machines. I never use those slot machines, but I do love going out with friends, sitting down to a bar, having some drinks, watching a football game. Uh, at the bar and being able to sit there and play, you know, I'll put some I'll put some money into a machine and I'm really just pressing buttons. It's insane to me you guys. I grew up here and I don't I don't know how to play poker. Uh, I barely know how to play some stuff on the slot machine. So that's just my reality. I guess because it's normal to me uh, to have it around. So I like to enjoy it when I'm out from out for, you know, the evening. If I'm going to bingo with my family, I love going to bingo with my family. Uh, and that's, you know, that's always a good time, but it's never been something where I get paid. I go sit down in a casino. I'm there for 24, 48 hours. And then I go home and I'm broke for like until next payday. I, I can't relate to that. Can't relate. Not with gambling at least. So. I guess that's my answer. I try and find some balance. If if you're coming to Vegas and you're like, how do I not spend money? Really try and have a plan of what you wanna spend your money on when you're here. If you're gonna gamble, give yourself a limit, set yourself a limit of how much you're gonna gamble. And when it's gone, do not gamble more. It's that easy, guys, It's it's that easy. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. Gambling is a very serious disease, and uh, I really do empathize with with people who struggle with gambling. And I have seen some really, really traumatic things that make me very, very sad. And I know it's not as easy as just saying set yourself a limit and don't go over it. Uh, I am fortunate that it's been easy for me, uh, but I know that's not the case for many. So anyhow, I hope that answers your question. Thank you for sending that one in. I really like it because it was like a Vegas kind of question. Uh, oh, what I was gonna say is have your have a budget for the gambling and then also have in mind what you wanna do while you're here in town. Um, is it shows that you wanna see? Do you want more experiences? Do you wanna do ride type things? Uh, you know, just have some kind of idea of what you already want when you get here. That way you're not faced with all of it and it's all like in your face and you're like, oh, give it all to me. I think that's my, that's probably my best advice. Something else I just thought of about the Vegas stuff is that whenever I see cool things that I want to do or like I want to experience because there's constantly concerts, shows, events, restaurants opening up, um, sporting events. Next year, I mean, they're already talking about hosting the Super Bowl here in 2024, uh, but also, you know, the NFL draft and, and things like that next year. There's constantly so many things. So whenever I see things that I wanna do, instead of feeling like FOMO, like, oh my gosh, I'm not to, gonna get to experience that. I remind myself that there is constantly going to be more. 
that whatever I want to do this week, next week, there's going to be something new. Next month, next year, the town is going to be completely different. I think what I was trying to say is that people come here and they are faced with so much right off the bat and they're not used to having so many things available to them like this that they just want to do and experience everything that they can because they know when they leave they're not going back to that. Does that make sense? Does that make more sense? Okay, bye. That's enough talking about that. <laughs> Good, how are you? You guys, I thought I was completely done. I had all my clothes and I was walking out of the laundromat and I saw a pair of my underwear in one of the washers. <laughs> and I was like, no, I forgot to put one of my loads in the dryer. I really can't make this stuff up guys. I was so excited. I was like, yeah, I'm done like loading everything. Uh, and I was like, I'm leaving. I'm going to go meet up, see my cousin, see my family for a little bit. And no! Since we're sitting here waiting for the rest of those clothes to dry, I thought I'd answer one more question. Someone had asked me on Twitter, uh, who is my favorite fighter that doesn't make any sense? Honestly, my first thought was none. All of my fighters, all the fighters that I love make sense, like in some way or another in my mind. Uh, but I definitely get what he's saying. My answer is going to be Connor, you guys. Connor is my answer. I was such a fan of Connor, and over the years, I've really lost a little bit of respect for him. Uh, I've lost the urge to want to pick him in fights, uh, that part of me as a fan, and yet somehow he still gets a pass with me. <laughs> Uh, and that really doesn't make any sense in my mind because for most people when they pull the kind of stuff that Connor does I'm like uh, not for me. I'm done uh, I'm, I'm not a hater uh, I'm not I'm not into cancel culture whatsoever I'm not into leaving nasty rude comments when I just decide somebody isn't for me I just quietly remove myself and carry on with my life for some reason Connor still has me hooked that's the only one I could think of that doesn't make sense in my mind because if Connor were anybody other than Connor, in my mind, in my heart, he would have already been canceled and I haven't been able to do it yet. So that's the one that doesn't make sense to me. Why? Why can't I let it go? I also will not defend him tooth and nail anymore. That Those days are long gone, but I'm still a fan. Doesn't make sense. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I am going to go and spend some time with my family, unwind for a little bit. I was thinking about maybe taking you with me, but it's a little later on in the evening now. I don't know if they want to be on camera, and I feel like this video has been long enough. Maybe it just feels that way though, because I've been here for so long. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this really, really super exciting uh friday night here that i had honestly it did make it so much better that i got to bring you with me i appreciate you so much i hope you're having a wonderful day no matter where you're at if you're not dust your shoulders off take a deep breath know that i love you and we're all gonna be okay i will see you guys in my video tomorrow <laughs> bye